Where's your cashing out crypto? We're buying a lot. Local.bitcoin.com is your spot. Armed Forces Recruiting Office in New Hampshire, 22 May 2019. Defense, security, deterrence. These are uh, all concepts of the greatest caliber. They are, in, uh, in fact, arguably uh, sacred processes. But when undertaken by a non-monopoly, when undertaken by a non-monopoly, as this institution is, and underwritten by a tax office, as it also is, they are wont in practice to inflict near all the disadvantages and privations they purport to ameliorate. In many cases, they may even outdo to us and have outdone to us the lamentations administered by foreign foes. This building and the endless columns of uniformed, often uninformed, humanity which march behind it exist and maintain themselves on penalty of incarceration and the seizure of homes directed against those who would, in dissent, refuse to underwrite its horrors. I have stood myself inside one such dwelling, a credit to its adjacency, which has now been seized by the agents of this institution. If we recognize, as we should recognize, uh, that this is uh, an outpost of that federal government which claims dominion over the lives and wallets of New Hampshireites. Though in bulk courageous of heart, robust of constitution, professional in demeanor, the servants of this fixture are not the less agents of an odious and prodigal endeavor, which, had it been prophesied by our recent ancestors, would have been disbelieved. Its predictors derided and dismissed from their alarmism. Yet here we stand, alarmed indeed, and no longer alone in our disquiet. The military citadels of these uneasily united states have become a brunt, now nine times greater in expenditure than those of its largest competitor, the Russian Commonwealth. How inverted uh, the scene has become since the glorious, if cruel, epochs of the last century, in which Americans first had no standing army of any notable size, and later faced, despite being dramatically outnumbered and outmissiled, a martial and fanatical Soviet state triumph was their reward in each event over all who would aggrace, aggress against them on an insignificant scale triumph counterintuitively fueled by a commerce inspiring though relative state of liberty and a relative limitation upon military adventurism. Triumph, crowned all importantly with the liberation of an appreciative and once subjugated humanity, numbering over two hundreds of millions. How regrettable by comparison is the sordid purpose and disposition of the army which stands in part before me now the unwelcome occupation of seemingly or uh, or seemingly continuous bombardment of now seven odd sovereign and largely non-threatening states if the new america magazine is to be believed one aerial fed bomb dropped in anger every twelve minutes while we the innocent are restricting from even possessing as so much as a short shotgun. 
We have also to contemplate the torturous and even medievalist treatment of fierce and formerly friendly tribesmen who have never been conquered, or worse, their young offspring, their weddings, their ambulances, the homes and diggings of these Pashtuns and Uzbeks, loyally defended, were already well recognized as the graveyard of empires whose codes of honor, though alien and not without cruelty, were, even, even when this army was most justified against them, dismissed, if even recognized. To the hubris of this conqueror, housed and represented in the building before me, has been added the odious and doubtful expedient of the torture chamber, Torture, uh, torture chamber, once officially renounced, now uh, brazenly endorsed by this empire's top ruler. <laughs> the army which I denounce, <laughs> I see uh, hooting me. <laughs> uh, maybe they do not know what I am saying. <laughs> I see none, or would show you. Mm. Perhaps. Uh, they will show themselves. <clears throat> uh, mm. We respect the country of old lion, uh, contemplate torturous, even medievalist, uh, mm, uh, uh, torture chamber, uh, once, uh, once officially announced, now brazenly endorsed by this empire's uh, top ruler. The old lion, whose accoutrements I mimic, perhaps badly at this moment, served in these very locations, recognized as you do the primitivist shortcomings of the Afghan and tribal Pakistani peoples, who will join the civilized world when their privations at its hands are at an end and when it is their wish, and not before. But it is his way, the old lions and Mr. Churchill's, to respect or comfort these, even when they were exchanging detonations or prostrate and wounded before his regiment, and to criticize in print and at his own peril those regrettable abuses he witnessed against the Islamic peoples and at the hands of his London masters. How regrettable as well would be a decision by any one of you entering uh, this facility to affix yourself to it and to the wicked ends it has been pursuing at such ruinous expenditure. Do not allow yourself to be owned by this edifice. Do not sign over your latitude of action to the hands of the swampists above it who will misdeploy, experiment upon, and in the end Abandon you. Mr. Coke, as in uh, Mr. David Coke, otherwise known as an infamous brother Coke. Perhaps it is not well to dwell, as you already well acquainted with your name and with the resentment which lashes back at good deeds. You are greeted from the free state of New Hampshire which is uh, <clears throat> which is this in a partial but still concrete sense for all the accusatory moanings of free state project collusion with your organization. There is only one free stater of whom I am aware uh, that has ever actually met you. That free stater uh, was uh, me. There may have been others, but uh, <coughs> others unknown. But in any event, um, Mr. John Holt and I, then employed by the uh, Kansas State Network and its flag boat Channel 3, 
interviewed you at your offices nearby, and at some length, around 1992. We discussed many things, in which I have forgotten, but remembered is that spark of effective political activism, which, at that time growing in you, continued its progress until you were uh, no longer just a successful entrepreneur or a nominee of the pretend politics party. Since then, you have become effective on the imperial scene. Please excuse. Ah, uh, <clears throat> please excuse. Ah, uh, imperial scene, effective, um, you have become, hmm, Effective. Uh, since then, you become effective on the political scene, so effective as to earn the backhanded compliment of demonization. You, uh, you nearly always, um, uh, yet nearly always, you have descended into the same trap, the black hole of the excessive. It is not you or your organizations which are uh, exorbitant. It is... Uh, mm, 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 mm. Ah, regret, regret. Ah, it is... Um, it is that which you are trying to move. No more fruitful at the windmill tilt than almost anyone else. Acting directly or conventionally, even you can only slightly adjust its ruinous angle. At least you have not been. <laughs> at least you have not been uh, adjusting it in an angle even more ruinous. Still, you know, one rises from a study of your uh, political adventures mm, with a with a sense of how few, ethically speaking, have been your misdirected actions or oppositions. How many matters? Oh, perhaps not all. You have got right from a pro-freedom vantage. It has been the source of some appreciation. Your birthing of and or assistance to the Americans for Prosperity branch at New Hampshire, which I have seen often in action. Although perhaps we would appreciate you even more were you to exceed uh, acid uh, more completely to the, uh, the proverb, now officially echoing within our state house, uh, that all taxation is theft, and by implication ought to be abolished entirely. And there are paths to improvement. On one occasion, an AFP cameraman, uh, I was, um, on one occasion, um, da, a demonstration by the authoritarian faction at Concord, uh, during a, a demonstration with the authoritarian faction at Concord, I was pleased uh, to join uh, one of uh, the AFP cameramen in documenting uh, the unfoldings. These included their misbehavior towards counter-demonstrators, but I did not see your man get any traction at all with his videographic endeavors against the big spenders. And meanwhile, my upload from the incident stands at three millions of hits on YouTube. See the link in the video description below. It is not always us. I too am often becalmed in the effort to draw large attention to our small endeavors and it would have been better perhaps to address you while more time remained to alter your opinions and courses. I urge you to do so before it is too late, for after you reach the age of fifty, you will find it is impossible uh, to alter your disposition toward anything. My delay is regretted. Unfortunately, it, uh, it took some years to, uh, to procure the cigar, <clears throat> and it, uh, mm. it is in any case my hope 
and in much time still remains uh, to reaffix uh, some of, uh, of your certainties. We must not leave you too long in the company of the public broadcasters or the Yorkist elite. Uh, perhaps it is only sentient nature to view the place where one is as the center of the metaverse, however unimportant it, and one may be in the overall scheme. Certainly, it cannot be denied that you are sometimes the uh, 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 physically in the center of these United States. But um, there are powerful, uh, perhaps decisive reasons why the gaze of uh, the libertarian is better fixed upon New Hampshire, not the imperial seat at Washington, not scattered about the several, uh, now several dozen, forcibly United States, uh, certainly not the authoritarian uh, spit pit at New York. There is a, a great lot to be said for the shining city on a hill, sending its freedom example to all, setting it for all. It need not, uh, and in fact should not be, a large city. It should be, mm, what should it be? It should be, uh, mm, it should be, and is, a small state. Oh yes, uh, following as we uh, as we have been, our own advice to move here. It is now our duty as free staters to build that shining state on a hill, and invite others to it, who we perceive would be beneficial for it and benefiting from it, Mr. Coke. This is your invitation. Commonly ranked as roughly America's second freest and third safest state, while New York generally positions as its most authoritarian, New Hampshire is surely a better place for you in some ways. We cannot, of course, claim that it is... Um, we cannot, of course, claim that it is better in all. Perhaps, for you personally, it is not even better in most. Groupings of humans in the concentrated areas do make things possible, which cannot be done in our villages. Or can they? But you are not a stranger to the building up of great things in forgotten places or the importance of making change that will outlive you. What would be possible for you to accomplish politically in a small region opposed, or more probably welcomed, only by governments which are perhaps no more potent than you? The fabulously, <coughs> although, uh, perhaps less fabulously moneyed, Bitcoinist Mr. Finton of Atlantic Financial has already perceived this and completed his relocation here. His actions since do not appear to have been unusually taxing, but we suspect he is, uh, he is changing the world in uh, manners just as effectively as you and with less, much less. This perhaps is simply because he is focusing his energies on the laser point at the free coast and the more virtual but promising laser point of the cryptographic revolution. It is vain to peer through the veil of kilometers by their hundreds, an attempt, endeavor, to know your mind from a single ancient discussion and a researching of what is publicly known of you. 
Only you can know if a place like this is a place for you and what characteristics it must evidence to be such. But the discovery of a new concept or possibility can be an intoxicating potion for even those who imagine they lack nothing. Maps acquire a new luminescence, neighborhoods a novel and shining aura of possibility. And my recommendation would be this, especially if you have not the time to discover for yourself. Ask an appropriate assistant to examine the matter and come up with recommendations of her own regarding your best course of action in relation to this privileged province. If it were me, in your position, I should, wi I should wish answers uh, to these questions. Uh, number one, uh, should I visit, as Congressman Paul and Governor Johnson have done, the Free Staters nation as yet unborn in full? Perhaps during one or more of their events, the most impending of which is known as a porcupine festival at late June. If not, or should I dispatch a representative? And number two, or should I move to New Hampshire uh, myself? What would be the tax consequences in taxes? Uh, what uh, what relevant freedoms would I attain that I have never had before? My own, uh, my own most memorable is the, uh, the machine gun rentals. Though I must confess, having only uh, exercised that one twice. Uh, numero three o. What would be the political implications within New Hampshire of a, of a relocation here? particularly if it were accompanied uh, by my own local or state activism. And number four, could I be effective in this region without straying from my characteristically Kochian low-key approach? Five, number five, uh, can the above be affected and are they worth affecting? without personal, well, without personal relocation. <coughs> bearing, <coughs> pardon, bearing cautiously in mind the delicate line between political investment from afar, perhaps any investment from afar, and a perceived carpet baggery. If so, which would be the organizations most worthy of succor? I am listing some options in the video description. Uh, lastly, number six. If this shire is in fact salvageable, as perhaps none of the other uh, principalities in the world are, what would be the, the impact upon the globe? Were it to achieve that uh, shining state on a hill position, can I get or not get better results worldwide by aiding in the attainment of, uh, of one great example place? Uh, than I got before by aiding in the attainment of many uh, slight improvement places. Sometimes the wish is father to the thought. But my own answer to these questions has generally been uh, a probably or a promising and that is what moved me here. Your advisors, uh, perhaps you yourself, without even much thought, will see more clearly still. The minions of authoritarian winery, which exist even here, have been chittering either way about you. They say we are your minions and have undertaken demonstrations against us and you, at, uh, at our advantages. It has raised your stature in our minds. And you can see the video in the description below. To paraphrase the singer Mrs. Raitt, perhaps if our organizations were to stand uh, too closely to one another, 
or laugh uh, just a little too loudly uh, at one another's jests. A pathetical moaning would ensue, so decibelistic in its volume as to provide us that status of household nameage toward which we have so long bootstrapped ourselves. Oh, what a wondrous problem that would be to have, to achieve without misdeed the status enjoyed sometimes not very much, by the, uh, by the abolitionists of old. I suspected under every bed, imagined under every bloom of dandelion. But perhaps we are granting too much significance to the clucking minority of authoritarian actives. <clears throat> there, is a, there is a comely little secret no one here gives a piss <laughs> in any damaging way. Uh, no one save those whose minds are already affixed with or against us. Gives much more than a bottle cap about for Soros this or brothers that. They want for themselves their own modest prosperity and their own liberty, if not always everyone else's. If we can give it to them, it is probable uh, they will give it uh, to the world. Meanwhile, let us give, uh, really give, our foes uh, something to talk about. Uh, Planned Parenthood offices in Keene, New Hampshire, May 21st, 2019. Uh, Winston is not going to protest what you think he is going to protest. For purposes of self-destruction, it, uh, it is rarely enough to, uh, to abuse one's enemies. An achievement of one's own complete downfall is more usually achieved by the uh, the maltreatment of bystanders. Leaving aside the conventional question of whether it is appropriate or ethical uh, to dispose of fetal life as yet, under, uh, as yet undelivered from the womb, uh, let us instead uh, ask this. Uh, first, has, uh, has Winston forgotten to uh, eject his uh, fanny pack. Well, uh, if he has, then he has remembered. Mm. Lamentations. Uh, one moment. Back. Winston is back. Winston is, Winston is back. Has Planned Parenthood expanded or uh, are not expanded its designs so as to become a menace against the neutral adult spectator, even in some cases, the pro-choice partisan. Aggrieved parties in relation to this institution were once primarily only the foes of lawfulized abortion. No longer. Now the hapless taxpayer is joined to these once unpopular demonstrators in justifiable resentment. The lobbying for and use of federal dollars, uh, which the, the double P's do receive, to underwrite any activity, however benign, is a mark of questionability. At the best, it causes all endeavors of this institution to become the legitimate purview of every wage worker, retiree, and executive officer within this empire proper regardless of their disposition toward the practices undertaken or not undertaken within. At worst, it may be regarded as an indirect theft or willful acceptance of stolen property. This is an act for which for which a nearly any of the distressed uh, they aim to service 
would be cast into a steel box were they to commit it without the sanction uh, which they have obtained from the government of torture camps and ambulance bombings. And dare we wonder if this underwritement of the planners has played a role in strengthening them such that they were able to commit a further breach. Well, they have not been contented to seize from the uninterested laborer and grow correspondingly in powers. Uh, they have used these powers not only upon their own properties and those of their servants, not only on the bodies of the women and unborn inside, but also in the very streets of which we are, uh, the very streets which we require for our travels, uh, and the mouths with which we speak. One may be uh, deeply committed to the cause of reproductive choice without at once wishing to separate the rest of us from our, uh, our uses of these. With, uh, with imperial capitalization comes political sinew, something sufficient to move the levers of state against the unharmful. And so they have been moved. A law in New Hampshire passed in the middle of this decade now allows abortion clinics to have people uh, cited by the police if they attempt to exercise uh, the right of speech on public property uh, but in a manner vetoed by the facility. Specifically, the speaking in opposition to abortion or the holding of a sign to that effect within 25 feet of the building's entrance. A national public radio article shows one such buffer zone reaching clear across the very street. I am not saying that this one does. Ah, uh, uh, 25 feet uh, across the very street uh, from the building's entrance. It is now impossible for persons with signs, with unwelcome slogans on their lips, or even uh, known but peaceable lifeist histories, to lawfully walk down certain streets, at least at certain times, or at least uh, particular sides, uh, and at least a particular sides of particular streets. The franchise of unregulated peaceable persuasion, long assailed by monarchs and despots, of our escape-worthy posterity has only a tenuous hold on this continent. Its attrition in even the smallest public space is not to be countenanced lightly. As the Crimson King's vocalizer Adrian uh, Bellew once bellowed, quote, talk, talk, it's only talk. Verbal, a banter, bicker, brouhaha, a balderdash, a bollyhoo, it's only talk. Unquote. What is so feared in this talk that it must be restricted even on the publicly funded walkway? What is so uh, sacred about the medical processes here undertaken? that their discussion is only tolerated at a range of over six meters from the entrance and one party to the discussion given limited but discretionary given limited uh, but discretionary police powers over the other. You may know a malefactor by his use of public action to quell public discussion. We agree, do we not, that it would be a lamentable offense if the, uh, the imperial seat in D.C. were to impose regimes upon the masses. Mm. The masses of, um, the regimes upon the masses. Hmm. Regimes, regimes upon the masses of continental humanity, whereby they were compelled to subsidize an Operation Rescue 
or one of Mr. Terry's presidential uh, campaigns. Taxpayer monies should not aim to assist or hinder the cause of fetal rights or choicest activism. Perhaps, uh, perhaps they know it should not even be collected at all. But, uh, but it was this same system. The self-funded, which well within living recollection, hunted and captured the providers of this controversial procedure. The practitioners were driven into the dark recesses, forced to live the existence of constant fear and official injunction. Heroes or villains, cruel or philanthropic, they were not lacking in physical courage. And their, uh, their performance of the terminations was not made less right by its forbiddance. So to the practitioners of re republic, uh, so to the practitioners of repulsive signage, or ill-colored remark, uh, never more than uh, a weak minority in any lifeist demonstration I have ever witnessed um, are not um, are not made wrongdoers simply by a parliamentary decree, or by standing close enough to be heard without uh, to be heard without uh, to be heard without shout of the planners who have uh, invoked the formerly anti-abortion mechanisms of state against their foes these queries first do I get the choice supported by law of denying funding to this institution and its works which now extend to our sidewalk and sometimes to our street am I free to safely choose whether I uh, choose whether I underwrite the imposition of speech restrictions projecting into the very right of way that I am compelled to bankroll. Can I be pro-choice on the question should taxpayers be allowed to choose a personal inspection of these facilities which the government has made them finance how much warmer than this would be the opinions of those many persua persuadable uh, uh, contemplators who have scrutinized your case without malice, who accept the right of reproduc reproductive choice, if they were not driven from you by your lamentable amassment of taxpayer subsidies now expanded into a theft of sacred First Amendment powers. If lines are to be drawn, then let us draw them against action and not debate, against breach, not ballyhoo. But oh, what an unfortunate breach it is. You have committed, jutting like an invisible malignancy out into the, uh, the very uh, sidewalk on which I would like to stand. Know this, you have tampered, however unnoticeably for now, with the sentiments of the great neutral forces of moderation and those of the philosophical libertarianist, between them comprising perhaps 40% of all imperial citizens. You test them further only at the peril of your cause. You test them further only at the peril of your cause.
Who wants strict know your customer requirements, high Bitcoin, BTC fees, or hidden costs? There's a better way to turn your crypto into fiat and vice versa. Local.bitcoin.com. Their private peer to peer Bitcoin Cash marketplace accepts any kind of mainstream payment service. They've also got a referral program. Get your link set up today. Whether cashing out crypto or buying a lot, local.bitcoin.com is your spot.